Simon Suffolk very kindly um, sent me a computerised copy of the Lister LD1 manual and uh, I was uh, reading through that yesterday and um, I decided to do a few little things today to it we're going to take the crankcase door cover off which is there uh, so we can get access to the oil pump uh, it does have an oil pump uh, quite an elaborate system more complicated than the one in the ZZ uh, this one has absolutely loads of oil tubes that go everywhere feeding oil to the valves to the front and back bearings to the connecting rod uh, it's a lot more complicated than the ZZ where as the ZZ just has the one oil pipe and it's pretty easy to check but if I take the crankcase door cover off I should be able to see the oil relief valve and uh, when you turn it over you should see oil coming out of there and uh, hopefully I'm not going to split the gasket when I'm taking this little cover off and hopefully no oil is going to come out of there I've got a feeling it's got too much oil in it so uh, some oil might come pouring out of there. Okay, we finally got the crankcase door cover off and uh, can see some oil dripping about in there and uh, there's no sound of dry bearings or anything and the pump is moving up and down freely and uh, all the cam has got plenty of oil on it more than enough uh, there is too much oil in it you can see it there it definitely should be that full so uh, we're going to have to address that but I'll just spin it over a couple of times you can see the pump moving up and down and you should see some oil come out of the little oil relief valve got the injector creek there as well see some oil passing out of the oil relief valve now which I'm pretty sure is this because the oil pump is there and I'm pretty sure that's the oil relief valve there but I could be wrong it seems to be returning from the bottom of the bearing She does need an oil change. The oil isn't as clean as I thought it was by just looking at the dipstick. But I can see some oil dripping about from everywhere. The connecting rod bolts are actually submerged in oil at the moment. And I'm pretty sure that's because there's too much in it. But everything else looks okay. Can't see any movement in the big end. There is no sound of a dry scraping bearing so that's okay as well I'm pretty sure we're all right on the oil pump side of things okay we've checked the oil pump in the LD1 uh, it seems to be working so we're gonna go ahead and start it and uh, it's gonna need a fair bit of cleaning out the sump is a uh, pretty grim and the rocker cover is also pretty grim inside there so it's gonna need cleaning out but we're gonna start them both up for a short run and uh, I'm expecting the diesel is going to be really smoky because turning it over I assume diesel keeps on injected into the cylinder so not sure if dad's going to want to stay sitting there <laughs> but we'll try and get the Lister D going first and then the diesel
fuel tank has been prepared by the farmer. It looks like it's had a sheet of brass or something put on the bottom of the tank and it's then been soldered or grazed. But it doesn't leak, so leave it well alone. The old list of bees and bitter of beat again. Both are running pretty nice. Plate on that front of the trolley is doing my heady. It takes a lot quieter <laughs> when that is around and about. Right, well that's the uh, longest run the old diesel's had with me so far. But she really does need an oil change. So does the D type. I've got oil for the D. But SA30 isn't what's supposed to be in these old diesels. So uh, I'll have to buy some more oil for this as well. But they both need an oil change. Bad. But the old diesel seems to have stopped smoking now that it's warmed up. So I'm really happy with that. on the mixture wheel and we are stop the diesel as well. the 1945 Lister D and uh, the Lister LD1 diesel. Not sure how old the diesel is yet but should find out soon. Thanks for watching.